Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, today's recipe is extra yummy and it is inspired by my daughter Katie's love and admiration of the chocolate chip scone. So yes, you have guessed it. For this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make my clean and delicious whole wheat chocolate chip scones. So you wanna get yourself a nice big bowl. And in my bowl, I have two cups of white whole wheat pastry flour. Now I know normally when you hear white and flour in the same sentence, you automatically think refined flour, but that is not the case with white whole wheat pastry flour. White whole wheat is actually just a whole wheat flour that is by nature lighter in color. It's a little bit milder in flavor too. And it still has the germ, the bran, and the endosperm attached, just like regular whole wheat flour. So it's a really good choice when you're making the occasional batch of scones like we are here today. So to my flour, I'm adding two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That's gonna help our scones rise up. A half a teaspoon of salt and then a quarter cup of turbinado sugar. This is also sometimes called sugar in the raw, and it's a slightly less processed form of sugar. It's still sugar, so you wanna use it in moderation, but you will recognize it by looking at the crystals. They're a little bit bigger, and they have this caramel color to them. So in it goes. Then just gently toss all these ingredients together. We just wanna make sure that they're well incorporated. So once you've got all the dry ingredients mixed together, then you're gonna add in one cup plus two tablespoons of milk. Now, I'm using a 2% milk here because we've been making these scones a lot lately and I wanted to lighten the recipe up a bit. But traditionally, scones are made with cream and that's where they get that really rich, decadent texture from. So just know that going into this. The lighter the milk you choose, the more your scone is gonna have a cakey texture, which I don't mind one bit. I think it's still delicious. But bottom line, take the information, make this recipe work for you. Once you've got the milk in there, you just wanna bring this together until the milk and the dry ingredients are just incorporated. You don't wanna overmix it. Your dough is gonna be very sticky. I think a spatula is gonna be a little easier here. Okay, so once you've got the dough just incorporated, you're ready for your chocolate chips. I've got three quarters of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. In you go. So once you've got all the chips incorporated into the dough, what we need to do is dump the dough out onto a floured surface. Now remember, the dough is gonna be sticky, but don't you worry about that. You just keep on moving forward, and if you need to, you just sprinkle a little flour over the top. That'll dry it up a little bit for you. Then we're just gonna pat it down until we've got approximately an eight inch disc, just like what we have here. So once you've got that eight inch circle or close to it, then you're just gonna grab a pastry brush. If you didn't have this, you could also dab it with like a paper towel and just brush about a tablespoon of butter. You could also do coconut oil right over the top. And then last step here, we're gonna take a sprinkle more, another couple teaspoons of that turbinado sugar and just sprinkle it over the top. This makes a nice little crunch on top when it's all done. Last step, we need to cut this into eight slices and then transfer it onto a rimmed baking sheet that you've got lined with a Silpat mat or some parchment paper. Now, when it's time for the transfer, things get a little sticky, no pun intended. It really gets very sticky, could be a little messy. Don't worry, I, I'm telling you guys, just get the knife under there. Even if it starts to lose its shape or whatever, just get it onto the baking sheet and make sure none of them touch. I promise once they cook up, the whole thing comes together. And guys, really, don't worry about the imperfections here. That is what makes them homemade. And quite frankly, that is what makes them so darn charming. Once you've got everybody on the tray, we're just gonna pop these into the oven for 18 minutes or until they're just cooked through and they're gonna be golden brown on top. So then you just wanna let these scones cool off completely. And once they do, you can store them right in an airtight container, leave it on your counter, and you're gonna have yourself some clean and delicious whole wheat chocolate chip scones to enjoy all week long. Mm. Keeper, I mean really, let's not go with chocolate chips sprinkled all through the middle. If you guys wanna print this recipe, make sure to head on over to cleananddelicious.com. And thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Then you're ready for your chocolate chips and I have got three quarters of a cup, cup three quarters of a cup of semi seed from the top. That is what makes them so darn charming.